all right here we go again guys welcome back to the channel it's your boy you come back with another video and today's video we'll do another collab with double edges last time if y'all seen the season six top five guns top five assault rifles that is you know that i had double edges on the channel back then so i'm gonna let him introduce himself once again for the people who did not see that video if you haven't seen that one go see that one first and then come back to this one so you can see how the list change from season to season but i'm gonna let double edges go ahead and introduce himself how's it going guys this is double edges uh your everyday two thumb player it's good to be back on another video with you and uh yeah last season we we went over the five top assault rifles we had some pretty major differences in our in our choices and uh this season's no easier honestly this season was pretty tough so this will be interesting i'm excited for sure for sure all right let's yeah let's just hop right on in then let's hop right on into the video top five i'm gonna go ahead and give my number five now this is number five i really wanted to put it higher on the list but i didn't play enough ranked matches with it to really put it higher yet um and test it out but it is a whole lot better than it was last season it got a small buff but that is and i think this might be my number five last season but it's kind of it is better than it was last season that is the man of war number five on the list i really wanted to put it higher the recoil this season is a lot different it's not it doesn't have a random kick like it did in season six so hitting your shots is a lot easier to do the recoil isn't as bad and i feel like they really did a good job at improving the man of war and then they had the little they snuck a little challenge in for people who did not have the man of war already in the um I think called the seasonal event challenges they snuck that in so people could get the man of war and if you don't have the man of war and have not tried the man of war i'm telling you it's a whole lot better than it was in season six so guys check out the man of war if you have not that's my number five that's that, that's that's pretty solid i would say uh my number five is the same as last season as well and it is the ASM-10. ASM-10. The ASM-10. I cannot get this uh, out of my loadouts or out of my options for the top five. It's still a solid gun. I've been using it here and there in a few matches, and I honestly like it. It's really good at close range. Um, you know, when you're you're compared to some other of the assault rifle. You know, it's just all around great. It's solid. I I honestly can't go wrong with it. So. But it is going to stay at number five. Uh, it, it made it in the list still. Okay. For sure. All right. I like the, you know, I like the ASM-10. The ASM-10 is one of my favorite guns. I can, I don't know, I, I guess I'm just so used to it now. I just feel like once I put it on, it's, it's just so good. All right. All right. Number four. Now, this is the first new gun that I put in the list. So, my number four weapon is the KN-44. I just really recently started using it. I wasn't using it a whole, whole lot in, like last season. And a lot of people like, Drew, use the KM44. I'm telling you, use the KM44. The recoil isn't bad. It has a good fire rate. Use the KM44. So I'm like, all right, bet. I'm going to try the KM44. And I actually am very surprised that I haven't been using the KM44 a whole lot previously. And I hate that I didn't. And... I like the iron sight on it. The iron sight looks pretty good as well, even with the different variations of the gun. Even though the only one I have right now is the is the um, basic one or the gray one, the normal um, KM44. That's the only one I have. I don't have the um, colorful one that a lot of other people are rocking. But I do enjoy the KM44, and that's the first like it on my list. If I had to make a top ten list, it prob last season it probably would have been number six or seven but that's probably because i wasn't using it enough and actually giving it the time that it needed to master the kn44 so number four is the kn44 interesting surprise that's not a little higher up on your list but <laughs> hey good that's okay all right so for my number four it is the ak-47 mm. And last season I had this, I believe, at number two. And the only reason it's dropped down to number four is not because I felt that the gun has gotten worse. 
As a matter of fact, it's I feel like it's even better than it was last season. But there's been improvements in other guns that I feel like it just surpassed. So um, the AK-47 is super fun to use right now. They changed the sound effect, uh, in my opinion. It sounds better. It's smoother. The recoil is not as jumpy. It's better at long range. And uh, honestly, I this gun should be higher up on the list, but I just can't justify it. But the AK-47 is solid if you want if you want to give it a try again AK47 I remember when that when like like in season 1 like when the AK47 just had no love I was rocking the AK47 especially in season 2 I think it was season 2 when they had like the glacier AK47 I think that was season 2 it might have been season 3 but I was rocking that just even if nobody else had it on the class I had it on my class like the AK47 has been one of my favorite weapons in every Call of Duty, like going all the way back to Black Ops 1. I just I just love the AK-47. It didn't matter what Call of Duty it was. But okay, I like I like that pick. AK-47. That's solid. Alright, alright, number three. It's a gun missing from my list, and you'll be like, what? Alright. <laughs> the, the, number three is probably my favorite gun to use in every situation, and that is the LK24, the most <laughs> the most underrated gun in the game. Until recently, everybody want to hop on the bandwagon. I've been trying to I've been trying <laughs> to tell people. Call of Duty Mobile gives out a free version of the LK24. Now everybody's saying it's the best thing since sliced bread. I'm just saying I've been trying to tell people that the LK24 is legit. They didn't listen, but I'm trying to tell you, LK24 low recoil now i will say this about lk24 it's not the best gun to try to rush with up close i will say you probably gonna lose most matches if you're not headshotting people and things like that but depending on your play style this is probably the, if you're running from mid to long range this is probably the best gun in the game for that like mid long range is amazing laser people recoil is very very low damage is decent it's not the best in terms of damage that'll go to like the ak-47 and some tens man of war so in the game but in terms of just being able to pick up a gun without much practice at all if you just want a gun you ain't got to worry about trying to learn how it plays or anything like that i think the lk-24 is probably your best bet the ak-117 is on that level too but i think the a the lk-24 beats that out in terms of simplicity don't have to worry about recoil control as much and that's just one it's the best gun in my opinion just pick up and run around with without actually having to practice at all you can just put it on and boom you're good to go so lk24 i think i want to say it was number two last season so lk24 it, it, it hasn't got worse it hasn't really gotten better either that's the only reason why i kind of dropped down number three but that's it, the LK-24. I, 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 honestly, I started to agree with you at the end of last season. I started using this more, and I would only use it because I was like, okay, Drew says this is good, so I'm going <laughs> to try it again. And, uh, I mean, I, I liked it because of the new heat stroke skin. And, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty good. It, it got better, I would say. It, believe it or not, it did not make my list for top five. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I see. <laughs> That's all yeah, right. but yeah, all right, all right. It's uh, number three for me. After I just got done uh, saying that you should have had the KN44 higher, I only got it at number three. <laughs> and, uh, honestly, this is really tough. I'm having a complex here with these last three guns because I feel like the KN44 should be higher than number three, but I'm just going to stick to it. KN44, I did not have it until like a month ago I would say and I got the Ashen Viper I completed the challenges to earn it and I'm super glad that I did this gun's a beast in my opinion I can this is my go-to gun if I'm having trouble in a match this is the gun I pick up and just roll with I can use it on any map um, at range the at, at far range it's not the greatest you're gonna have to really tap fire with it but you know mid close Holding points and things like that. This gun's this gun's pretty pretty awesome. And so, 
a solid number three. It could be a number two, maybe a number one, but it's three this year. Okay, okay. KN44. I maybe I just need to use it more. I'm, I gotta start using it more. Sometimes, you know, you just get your favorite guns and you just believe they the best and you just gonna roll with what you roll with. But I like, I try to switch it up every now and then. All right, all right. Your number five, my number two, the ASM10 what? is number two. I'm, I'm telling you, just like wow. I used to preach. The AK-47 or preaching the ASM-10. You run up on somebody with an ASM-10, it's almost like getting hit with a shotgun. I'm telling you, the three shots, if you accurate with the three shots up close, is all over. And the damage from long range is good as well. If you learn how to manage that recoil. Now, it's not the only thing that kills the ASM-10. If you got a hot ping, it's not the fastest shooting gun out. So you you might get punished there. It's not the fire rate is not all there. Okay, and I understand that. That's why number one makes up for that. But but if you're accurate with your shots, the ASM10 with the high damage and being able to control that recoil, the recoil isn't too bad. I would say it's no different from I would say probably like the Man of War. And I feel like I can long range people with the ASM10. Put a uh, grip on it and I think you'll be just fine. ASM-10 is the number two gun. And it used to be the number one, I want to say. Not last season. It wasn't It wasn't number one for most people. It was for me. But last two seasons ago, before they nerfed it a little bit. And the nerf wasn't huge. They just nerfed the recoil a little bit. The damage is still the same. All they did was change the recoil pattern. So you learn a new recoil pattern and you back in the game with the ASM-10 telling you if you have not put the asm 10 on one of your best loadouts just try the asm 10 just just like people like the ak4 the only reason the ak47 isn't higher for me is because the asm 10 feels like what i think the ak47 should be to me at least it does for me high damage recoils a little crazy but you can if you learn to control it you good, but I will say the AK-47 is the highest damage assault rifle in the game. If you can laser headshots, I will give that to the AK-47 because I love the AK-47. But that's that's my number two. Without rambling on too much. <laughs> well, honestly, now that I'm comparing it to my number two, it I can I can see where you're coming from on that gun, honestly. Uh, my number two. I, I almost had it at number one, but I just couldn't quite justify it. Number two for me is the Man of War. Man of War, okay, I like that. I like that. Okay. And honestly, like when I first unlocked this gun, I, I actually owned this gun for like a month without knowing I had it. And I finally like looked in my mail, and I was like, oh hey, I got the Man of War, so I just received <laughs> <keeped> it. <laughs> and then uh, I started using it, and I used it for like probably two or three matches and I'm like this is the worst gun in the game right now. <laughs> I just like forget this and uh, I think it was probably the last week or two of this last season before the update I pulled it out and I started using it I was like man this thing isn't too bad honestly you got to get used to it it's it's like the ASM-10 it's got a unique mm -hmm. uh, recoil sure. pattern and uh, you can't just sit and you know spray and pray you got to actually use it strategically and stuff but it it got an update and uh, it got buffed, in my opinion. And it, I mean, the damage is 75. That's pretty high for this gun. And uh, it's got, like, at close range, this it, it reminds me of the ASM-10. How, it, how it's, you know, it's got that shotgun effect. You feel like you're, you're nailing people down real, real quick. Um, it, it, it does feel kind of like, you know, you feel kind of slow running with the gun. But it honestly, it, it's... It could have been number one for me. This gun, this gun has come a long way when I first started using it, and I'm seeing a lot more people rolling with it. But if you got the opportunity to get the Man of War and you don't have it, you need to get it. It, it just, just at least own the gun. For sure, it, it, it's doing well right now. For sure, got to get that challenge done. Right, man. Look, I think, <laughs> I think the entire Call of Duty community knows, <laughs> knows. Where are we going next? But first, 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 <laughs> we gotta we gotta throw out we gotta throw out honorable mentions here. We gotta throw out honorable mentions. We gotta throw out honorable mentions. So 
I've been, I've been going first. I'm going to let you go first with the honorable mention. Okay. My honorable mention is the LK24. Oh, no, I like to hear that now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, it, it made it on the list. Maybe not on the important list, but it's on there. Um, I've tried a, I've tried some of these other guns, and honestly, I think the LK24 could easily be a top five gun. But I just couldn't quite get it in there. So that's my honorable mention. It, it It's almost identical to the KN44. Um, and you can use it in any map and you know in any mode and run with it it's just a good all-around versatile gun so yeah that's my honorable mention i don't have much to say because you you always <laughs> embellish it pretty well <laughs> no i love my lk oh man all right <laughs> my honorable mention is the m16 no i'm just playing um <laughs> no, so calm down <laughs> If, if we would play like Black Ops 1, maybe. But my honorable mention is the BK-57. Honorable mention. Now, I don't think the B, I don't think the BK received the nerf. I don't know. It, do, it doesn't feel as good to me as it did last season. I don't know if it's documented that a nerf was on it or anything. A lot. I don't see a whole lot of people running it as much as they used to. I put it on every now and then. Sometimes I swap it out with my LK or swap it out with another class or something like that. But I think the BK is still a great option. It just feels weird to me when I'm running with it and stuff. I don't have the best aim with the BK, even though the recoil isn't horrible or anything. Maybe I don't use it enough, like I said, about some other guns. But the BK-57, which a lot of people consider the number one gun of season six some people did the number one gun in season six but i don't know it just feels weird to me now i don't know if that's just because it's a new season and everybody's trying to find the next best thing or what but i still i still say it's definitely better than some other options in the game so if you're still a bk57 fan all hope is not lost it's just not in my top five now i might be in some other people's top five but not in mine so that is the BK-57. Now, without further ado, we'll get to um, the winner of the Choice Awards. <laughs> number one, which I don't think anybody is going to be surprised here. The number one gun for me is the HBR. And I think I think this season that HBR has just came in and claimed the throne. Now, how long that will last, I don't know. Call of Duty Mobile likes to nerf guns. I mean, it might be nerfed tomorrow morning when we get up. I'm just saying, Call of Duty Mobile don't play with the nerf hammer. Now, they will put the nerf hammer on the HBR this season. I can about book that. Now, I have seen in some comment sections around that a lot of some people are saying, I don't know why people are enjoying the HBR that much. Now, I'm like, what? You don't? You're not getting this? You you don't see this? I put the HBR on and then within three games I had a ranked nuke. I'm just saying, I, I see the hype. The hype is real. If you're not seeing the hype, maybe you just just don't want to be a part of being like everybody else. And I kind of understand that. You want to be a little different. You don't want to use the cheese weapons. But especially if you're doing solo rank, hard times are upon you when you're doing solo rank. So desperate times desperate measures you, you just gotta do what you gotta do you gotta do some some drastic you put the hbr on and just use it find a nice class setup that you like to use i recommend the silencer fmj and extended mag if you're wondering you don't really need you don't need a grip on this at all recoil is very very low fire rate is very very high it almost reminds me of Kind of what the Type 25 was way back in the day. If anybody remembers what the Type 25 used to be. Now, it doesn't shoot as fast as that. But when the Type 25 was in the game, like Season 1, Season 2, the fire rate and the recoil was one of the best in the game. The AK-117 was kind of the same, but the damage wasn't on par. But I think the HBR is just lights above every other gun right now it can go close range it can go long range recoil is low it's it's you know it's almost where i don't really have to do a whole lot of explaining it, it is what it is the hbr is the best gun in the game right now uh 
I would agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, for me, number one, HBR. And, you know, it, I, the only reason I think I was struggling between the Man of War and the HBR is I kind of wanted to be different, but you can't deny. <laughs> I told you. That the H, you can't deny that the HBR is the best gun in the game right now. Uh, best assault rifle. I like the I like what you said about the Type 25. To me, it's like it's got you know that Type 25 fire rate with the recoil of the AK117. Oh yeah, that's like, great. Like it, it's you know the mobility is the same. It, it's 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 a hybrid of a gun right now, mm -hmm. and like you said, they can nerf it tomorrow. But <laughs> um, it's kind of what they did with the BK57, in my opinion. It, though they never talked about it. It does feel uh, like that, though. It does. Right, because I mean, BK fifty seven was number one on my list last season. It's not even in the top five or honorable mention. So I might have been riding the bandwagon with that one, but I, we're not gonna talk about that. <laughs> uh, but the HBR, uh, I don't think it could be put any better. It's just you know, I like to run with it in a silencer. I mean, S and D matches, you can use this in any any mode. Just roll with it. And shoot across the map. The recoil doesn't take effect till like 15 shots in. It feels like. Right. And the fire rate, you know, the the fastest fire rate in the game or for assault rifles is 70. And that's the AK117, the Type 25. So the HBR is only three off of that. Mm. Plus you got you know everything else about the gun. So yeah, this is a beast of an assault rifle. It almost feels like an SM. But yeah, this is definitely number one for me too. For sure. Can't you can't deny greatness? It's what it's one thing you can never deny. You cannot deny greatness. That's right, man. Well, dang, I didn't even realize it's been twenty something minutes. It's been twenty one minutes on here. That's what it says. Holy cow! <laughs> <laughs> dang, this gonna be long upload. Oh man, some people like long upload stuff, so it's okay. But gotta get a lot of gameplay. <laughs> oh, for sure, for sure. I gotta do plenty. I probably I'm gonna do one of mine and one of yours probably. Dang, that's gonna take two days. Ah, but anyway, it's all good. It's all good. But hey, man, I appreciate it, man. I appreciate it. If y'all have not heard of Double Legends, and you do not know his channel, I will link it down in the description below. He is on the road, I believe, the two K subs right now. He'll hit that easily, easily. So y'all have not already, go and subscribe to Double Legends right now. Stop what you're doing, Thomas, and go to subscribe to Double Legends. Go do that right now. <laughs> Oh man, I appreciate it, man. It's good to it's good to do these videos with you. For and sure. if you're new to this channel and you're watching this, subscribe to It's True. If you're on my channel right now, leave the channel, like the video, and subscribe first to my channel. Then head over to It's True <laughs> and subscribe to his channel. He's putting out you know, great content every week. Uh, he's got a lot of formative videos and cool game. I mean, the dude got a ranked nuke a couple days ago. So yeah, you definitely want to check him out sure i appreciate it man well, we're gonna hop up out of here we almost at the 25 minute mark so we got a movie y'all got to sit back with the popcorn on this one but um i mean i appreciate it man as always man and we, all right, we'll do it again next season sounds good to me for sure well i'll see you guys you got anything else you want to say before we head out oh it's good guys just you know keep grinding it out and i'll see you guys next time all right, man. Well, we'll see y'all guys in the next video. Y'all continue to grind and continue to shine, man. It's your boy Drew and Double Legends, and we'll see you guys in the next video.